Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How was your day? Uh, Rafael and me. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Javier. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, you, Javier. Um, how do you say in English, tuve un día bastante estresado? How do you say, uh, which word? Which word do you need? Because día, you know how to say. Día de pesado sería... Hard day. A hard day. A hard day. A hard day. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can use heavy. Like a heavy day. Or it um, depends the circumstance. I guess it depends, but it's probably better uh, a hard day or a hectic day. Okay. Hectic day is another one, but depends on what, what the activities were. If you had a lot of activities, then it was a hectic day. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Javier, tell me what happened. Why was it a hectic day? Please repeat. Why was your day a hard day? Um, um, no puedo ordenar la idea. Este, me tocó que ir a trabajar e ir a dar este refuerzo de matemática. Ajá, Javier. ¿Cómo podía construir? English, ¿Cómo podía English, construir? La, con, ¿Cómo puedo construir la frase? No, no. Ask me in English, Javier. Ask me in English. How do you say in English? Okay. Um, um, I was working in, in my my work. Okay. And uh, and I was going to oh, and I was um, how do you say enseñar or, or classes de refuerzo? Oh, teach. How do you teach? Mm -hmm. Teach math class. Okay. I don't know. That's it. You teach math classes exactly. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. You see, Javier, only you have to practice English. That's it. You can do it. You can do it, friend. I don't remember all the, the, the words. That's why you are here, to help you, because you don't remember. <laughs> if not, you are in advance if you remember. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't worry. We practice. Okay. Well, it's good. Everybody had... Uh, many activities, many things. So the important part is we're going to get started with all of our activities and days, asking a few questions, right? Talking about what we did, okay? So let's see. Uh, we're gonna make a few groups. And with our groups, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what we can do, right? Okay. So the idea is, what was your day? You're gonna ask your partners. You're gonna ask them uh, how many, hang on, what type of activities? Where did they go? What is the typical day? Tell me about your routines, things like this. Things that are normal, okay? Let's take a look, let's have, maybe, there we go. Okay, so we're just gonna have a few minutes and we're gonna talk about it and all about all of the things that we have, right? How was your day and all of those things? Any question, any words that you're thinking of, of how to say? Okay, let's go with our partners.
Hello, Maria. Hello. Hey, Rafa, what happened? You had some I ha problem connecting? I have hearing in the issues. Okay. Uh, uh, it's some disconnect to me. Okay, no problem, Rafa. We've sent you to a group. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Sure thing. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Francisco. We are in groups. I sent you to a group. That way you can talk about your day. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, welcome back, everyone. I'm glad we are doing okay, thank well. You. Yes, Alex. Hello. Tell me a little bit about your partner, Alex. I know we are we are talking with Ever. 
uh, because uh, he worked in uh, information technology, and I have uh, and I make some question, but uh, yeah, okay. I, yeah, but I, I talk with him about uh, uh, his schedule, uh, breakfast, his his breakfast, his lunch, uh, uh, the other thing, and Rafael. Rafael, we talk uh, a little bit, <laughs> really. And what does Ever do? What is Ever's job, Alex? He's a teacher. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I think teacher. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, yes. good. So that's the idea. The idea is that we feel comfortable with English, right, guys? The idea is that uh, for everybody to, to talk and use English, normal. We want mm -hmm. normal conversations, activities, plans, food, uh, your daily life, because this is the real life. The real life is in English, you use normal. That's the most comfortable part. Okay. Today, yes. we're going to be looking at and learning a little bit more. Today, we're going to be looking at what are some relative clauses. Do you know what are relative clauses? Mm, uh, Remember. I, yes. I, I, I believe yes. I th I think yes. I, I know relative is is about that. Is we join clauses or not? Don't worry. It's it's first your idea, and then we're going to see. Good idea, Alex. Anybody else? Anybody know else know mm -hmm. or remember what are relative clauses? I don't remember, but I remember that I received a class about this topic. Okay. Yes, I, I I remember the the topic, but I don't remember that about about that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The typical student. Yes. The yes. teacher explained. I don't remember, but I know the teacher explained. <laughs> yes. Like, yes. Really. I. Uh, it, I it's good answer. <laughs> bad memory. <laughs> yes. It's uh, on it. Was... Answer. <laughs> okay. Well, don't worry here. Let me share my screen with you so that we can see a little bit about what relative clauses are, okay? And okay. how we use them. Okay. Okay. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns, who, which, that. Okay, so the first thing is, if you notice, what are we going to do? We're going to study with the words who, which, which and that. that. Now, yeah. remember, relative clauses are to join two ideas. The main idea is join two ideas. Who for people, which for options, and that for things. Okay, yes. this is the main idea, but we're going to see a few examples and some more information. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar focus. Relative clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. Okay. So what can we see? What are we learning? We're learning that we have two sentences. He's an actor and he won two Oscars. And we are using who or that to combine the two sentences into one sentence. This is, mm -hmm. gives us more details about the sentence. So we're going to say he's an actor, but there are many actors. Ah, so we use this to give more information or to be able to identify the person, who or that. The same mm -hmm. for which which we use when we want to combine two sentences to describe what we are talking about. 
It's a movie, ah, but there are many, many thousands, millions of movies. Ah, but it's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. Ah, maybe that helps us to understand or to identify which one we're talking about. Okay, let's continue watching a few more examples. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't yes. so complicated. Okay, one more time. Let's look at the most important part here at the end. Why we use it. That way we can take uh, notes and write down information. And give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns. Who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people? Mm, so we have who to talk about people, right? That's the first one, who to talk about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. Let me go back, that was very fast. Okay, which is to talk about things. For example, it's a movie. Ah, what movie? Ah, it's a movie, which? And then we have the topics, okay? is used to join classes about things. That is used to join classes about people and things. Ah, so we can use that for two, right? We can use that to talk about people or to talk okay. about things. So we have two options with that one. Who only about people, which only about things, but that we have two people or things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with this following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Bra okay. So there we have two sentences. Well, two parts. We're going to complete them. So what can you tell me about Prick, about Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt is an actor who won a three Oscar, for example. For example, yeah, who won three Oscars? Good. Anybody else? Another example? Okay, Gladiator is a movie that uh, uh, great a movie. I don't know that one. No, Are that one. No, let's try. Ever? Is, can I? Can I try? Go ahead, because, ever. Because gladiator is a name of movie, of movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. I I think in something like gladiator is a movie in which uh, I'm sorry, gladiator glad, gladiator is a movie which is starring by Russell Crowe. So so, but uh, no, which is starring by Russell Crowe. So is gladiator is a, a movie which stars. Russell Crowe. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, good. So ever make the sentence. Okay. Ever, go ahead, make the sentence. Okay, uh, Gladiator is a movie, it stars uh, Russell Crowe. And, and what happened with the witch? I'm sorry. Gladiator <laughs> is a movie which stars Russell Crowe. There you go. That's correct. Okay. Good. Pretty easy. So that's how we use it. Okay. Any question? Anybody? Any questions? How how I can use the that in the in the last case? Ah, okay. So we use that. Remember. We mm -hmm. can use it similar, mm -hmm. okay? Uh -huh. That can be used for people or things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we, we can Good. say... Hi. So here, oh. let me put so that everybody can see. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. here Gladiator is a movie that... That stars Russell Crowe. 
and the wow. same. Brad Pitt is an actor that won three Academy Awards. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So now what are we going to do? Well, now with our partners, we have knowledge check 3.10. And here we need to complete with the correct one. Are we going to use who? Are we going to use well, that? Sorry, are we going to use who, that, or which, or that? So you have to read and you have to select which one is the correct one to complete it, okay? You have four of them and you're going to write it down. So you can make the sentence like this. You're going to take the two sentences. He's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. And you're going to put into one sentence, like the example that's there, okay? So the two you make into one. That's the first part, using the relative clauses. The second part is a little bit of reading. The second part is you and your partners are going to read. And from what you understand, you're going to answer, okay? Where do you find this information? Do you find this information in paragraph one? Okay, do you find this information in paragraph two or in paragraph three? Do you read with your partners and then you make the decisions for that, where to find that information? So we have two activities, 3.10 and 3.11 with our partners. Okay. okay. Before we begin, are there any questions? No, no. Anybody have any questions? No, teacher. No? All no, right. Teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's try. Hang on. Let's make sure that we have enough time to do everything. Okay. All right. Let's go with our partners. Gabby, do you have any problems? Byron, do you have some problems connecting to the group?
Okay, you guys ready? Yes. Yes, okay. All yeah. right. I, I wrote in the chat, but nobody answered. And I said, mm, maybe they need more time. They need more time. <laughs> All right. Actually, 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 we need more time, really, to check. Yes. <laughs> We're going to check right now. We're going to see oh, how you only do. Only first part. Okay, okay. I complete only first part and the second. Only the first part. Yeah, only the first part. Okay, let's try. Let's let's check the first part. We need more time. It's okay. What's number okay. one? What do you think? She is okay. a movie director uh, mm -hmm. that, 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 that made, made the film Who made? The firm Who, Who made, made or that made? Who made? Or that made? Who made? Who made? Yeah. Who made who, or that yes, made is correct. The film hall. Who made? But the who film hall. The film hall. Yeah. Okay. No, no problem. No problem. We're gonna go ahead. What about number two? What's number yes. two? That one's good. That one's good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Number two. Yes, it's an action movie that that stars Johnny that star Depp. is Johnny Depp. That stars Johnny Depp. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which? Which? Or that? Yes. Which? Or which? that? Could be, could be which? 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 Okay, let's try which. Uh, which. which stars? Which? Is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Okay. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Let's take a look. Good to go. Good to go. Two for two. Two for two. Good job. What about number Excellent. three? Mm -hmm. It's a musical, a musical about, about, a girl about a girl who becomes, who becomes a, celebrity. a celebrity. Okay. Let's try it. I have a question, teacher. Yes. But because this is about a musical, it's like a Broadway. It's not a specific about, about girl. It's about person or it's about a musical. A, a, a musical. Uh, it's a musical. It's a a, a musical. Okay. It's a Broadway, or it's a, okay. a play or a movie. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. So we have that one correct. Oops. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Let me go back. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened, but we we see. Hang on. Okay. It's okay. We got one, two, and three correct. All right. But, but the, the answer is who or which? The number three. Girls number about three. Girl. Who? It's a musical uh, about a girl because who? we're talking about the girl. About the girl, yes. Ah. Uh, you see? Uh, okay. We're okay. talking. The next word is the girl, right? And uh -huh. now, what, what girl? Ah, the girl who becomes a celebrity. Ah, uh, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And what about number four? Let us know. Yes, Did you enjoy? It was a great it book. Was which was hard, which hard, was hard, hard to put down. Put down. Okay. Which, oh. which was, was a great book. Down. Okay. Which yes, was, was hard to put down. Hard to put down. Put down. Okay, which was hard to put down. Let's take a look. Oh, oh. no, was. Uh, no, no, was. no, because Why? maybe because it was it it was no was. Let's take a look. Uh -huh. We have it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. yes, in the beginning, yes. in the beginning. Ah, yes. let me put yes. yes. Okay, yes. yes. Let's try yes. yes. With the yeah. emphasis, or I know how you say. Huh? There yes. you go. Oh. You're right. <laughs> this we forgot okay. the yes. Okay, very good. Very good job. So we have Excellent. all of those are correct. All right. Okay. Now, Perfect. did any group did the groups did you finish reading the Harry Potter? And finding the yes. yes, yes, no, no. In my case, no. Okay, and Alex Me case neither. no, and Anna no. But I heard no. some groups say yes. Which group said yes? Me and yes. Eva. 
Gavi, Gavi and Nana Pineda. Gavi, yes. Okay. okay. Anybody else? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's read together. Okay. Let's start reading together. Okay. So, Ana, you're going to read the first paragraph. Gabi, you're going to read the second paragraph. Francisco, you're going to read the third okay. paragraph. Who's the volunteer? Who's number four? Who's the fourth paragraph? Hi. Hi. Sorry, sorry teacher. I, I am a comment. Oh, okay, Francisco. Okay. In the past exercise, in the past activity, mm -hmm. Uh, my partner and me, uh, uh, we did in, uh, wrong. We did it wrong because we don't. Um, we add the relative clauses and conserve the pronoun and all uh, 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 options. Uh, we did mistakes. And important uh, in the relative clauses, uh, uh, no, no, uh, don't write the pronoun with uh, with our relative clauses. Correct. That's correct, Francisco. We don't write the pronoun because the relative clause is the pronoun. So, it's the pronoun, yes. Exactly. The relative clause is the pronoun, so we don't have to write the pronoun. Okay. Okay. Good. Good tip. I saw two people yeah. raise their hand. Uh, they have somebody has questions. No, but thank you, Francisco. Okay. Yes. Let's continue with our reading. Javier, you had a question. No, no. Okay, then Javier, you are going to read the, the you wanted to read Javier? Okay. Me, number four. Okay. What number? Who's, num who's number five? Okay. Mirna, do you want to read number five? Yes, it's okay. okay. Perfect, Mirna, number five. And who's number six? Okay. Me, Wanya. Who? Me, Wanya, number five, number okay. six. Okay, Ivania, number six. All right, perfect, Ivania. Okay. Can you see or no? Yes. All right. Sorry, teacher, do you give teacher. me a paragraph? The which one? Do you give me a, do you give me a paragraph? I. I don't remember, Francisco. We had six of them. <laughs> we find out if nobody speaks, then yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problem. All right. Go ahead. Paragraph number one. Okay. There was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Now the adventure of the extra extraordinary student of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wiz Wizard Drive are read in over 45 languages, including Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. No one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon, not even J.K. Rowling, his creator. J.K. Rowling, oh, sorry. Um, J.K. Rowling was, uh, was born in England in 1965, from a young age, she knew she wanted to be a writer. When she was six, she wrote her first story about a rabbit that gets sick. At school, she used to make up stories to tell her friends. Thank you. Number three? Probably me. <laughs> probably, probably you, Francisco. Probably you. <laughs> OK. After graduating from college, she worked as a secretary, but she didn't give up her dream. She spent her lunch hour reading stories, mainly for adults. Then in 1990, on a train trip to London, she got the idea for the boy wizard. She says he just appeared in her head. She soon created 
a whole cast of unique characters to help Harry battle the forces of darkness. Okay, good. Very good. Number four. Okay. Me. She kept mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Okay. She kept working on the story while she was teaching English in Portugal. Oh, I don't what. Uh -huh. Where she married. Okay, there you go. Okay. Had her first child and divorced a year later. When she returned to England, she brought her a sweet case of Harry Potter stories. Javier, you have a question? No. Continue, please. After returning home, she was broke and living in a small camp apartment. She continued writing and in 1995 finished the first book in the series Harry Potter and the Sword. I, I can pronounce that word. Sorcerers? Sorcerer Stone. It was published in 1997 and became an unexpected bestseller. Okay. Rollins lived live, a life. changed life as a change dramatical. dramatical. She has become international fam famous and um, now earns around 40 million a year. She remained a, a second shield and um, currently, currently? currently lives in Scotland. Okay. Good. So we have a lot about Harry Potter and about J.K. Rowling. In which of the six paragraphs do we learn this? She hated going to school, but always loved to read. In which paragraph was that? Second one. Okay. Good. What about Stu? When asked about this popularity, she said, she has said, I really wrote it for myself. Where could this Number go? One. The third one. No, number one. Number one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here, number three. There were times when she couldn't even afford to eat. Where do they talk about that? Number five. Number five. Okay. Let's see. Paragraph number five. Four. Despite her fame and fortune, she's been able she's been able to keep her private life. Number six. Okay, number six. And she didn't have a pen or a paper with her, so she had to memorize it. Oh, where could this be? Where could they talk about memorize the story? Number three. Number three. And the last one, it was filled with 10 versions of the first chapter of the book. Number four. Number four. Number four. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. wow. You guys are amazing. Uh -huh. you see? <laughs> Here are all of the correct order for the answers. Very good job. Very good. Okay. So if you are if you are working on the platform, now you know the correct order. Okay. That way you can put in the correct answers. Now, what are we going to do? In this moment, we're going to practice using what we learned. Today, we learned what, Javier? What did we learn today? Repeat, please. Yes, Javier, what did we learn today? I learned to use the relative clauses. Thank you, Javier. I Excellent. don't know I have idea when to use that. We're going to practice right now. We learn to use relative clauses. 
Carla Ivania, when do we use the relative clause who? When do we use who? Who do you use is the use and the person? Correct. Always we use who to describe a person. Very good. Henry, when do we use the relative clause which? When we describe an object. Excellent. Describe an object. Describe things. We use which. Very good. Okay. Henry, Henry, when do we use the the prone uh, the relative clause that okay maybe Henry have some problems with the connection with the microphone Henry okay I'm sorry <laughs> no problem <laughs> I, I I I learning is the several words and I. I, uh, I take the, the practice English thing again uh, for uh, ausent for any times uh, before, okay? Uh, in these moments, uh, uh, I, I am recording the English and uh, Poco a poco, I, by I, go, I go in learning. Okay, Henry. Okay, Henry, no problem. You, it's okay. Maria, Maria. Okay. When do we use the relative pronoun that? That. We use relative pronoun that when we describe a person or things. Excellent. That's it, guys. Those are the three usages. It's important that you put in the notebook, that way you remember who we are going to use with people, right? Which we're going to use with things. And that we are going to use with people, people or, things. or things. This is the easy way to remember. Okay, before the next activity, do we have any questions? No, no, it's okay. Okay, Alex is okay. Francisco is okay. It's okay. Yes, yeah, okay. Henry, okay? All right. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good, okay. good guys. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to describe our favorite movie. We're going to describe a movie. For example, for me, James Bond. Okay, James Bond is a movie that stars Daniel Craig, okay? Daniel Craig is a special agent who can kill people uh, with the permission of the government. That's it. The example, you describe the movie, the, use the movie that, describe the person who, describe situations which. The important is use what we learned today, okay? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Let's try. Let me see. What time? Hey, teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. How do you say this phrase or these phrases? Costumes. 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 Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's do it.
Okay, guys. I hope we have an idea. One more time. Who to describe people? Which to describe things? And that we can use for both people and things. We are going to pause right here. But tomorrow we are going to look at the exam for all units one, two, and three. And we're going to practice more speaking practice and using the grammar, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, Thank guys. Thank Thank you. You. Have a nice night. I see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Good Good night. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you everyone. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.